Hi everybody, it's the Super Tech Channel, and I uh, know two videos in one night, what a surprise. But anyways, I've sort of got a video of one of my latest and greatest projects. Actually, this is sort of the culmination of, like, four months' work. I mean, not really, it didn't take four months, but anyways. It's a uh, Arduino tank powered by, powered, by, powered by Bluetooth. And, um... So here is the tank itself. It's powered by three 9-volt batteries. The uh, reason it's three instead of two, like I originally had in the old one, is because um, the Arduino, the Nano has a smaller voltage regulator than the Uno does. So it would, like, randomly short, it would cut out, and I would lose connection of the uh, Bluetooth radio. So I was like... Well, how can I fix this? And so I ended up just having an independent battery for the uh, Arduino, and then I would have a set of two batteries in parallel for the um, for the H bridge. The uh, H bridge chip is the uh, driver, the front there. I don't know if you saw it. But anyways, so uh, yeah, it's all soldered and uh, mounted, and that's Tamiya mounting plate and tread set. And yeah, so here is the um, bot driving around. I didn't. I made this at night, like I said earlier, so I didn't really have a great place to show you it in progress. But I mean, you can you can see from the video, it does pretty well. So yeah, the only downside is there's no real way to secure a breadboard to a mounting plate with because the breadboard doesn't have any holes in it. So I don't I don't really care. Just use tape. I mean, who doesn't love tape? So anyways, here's it driving. As you can see, it's pretty, like, it's a nifty little bot. It goes pretty fast, and my camera's out of focus was being stupid and trying to focus on, like, 12 other things, so if you can't, it, bear with it. It's doing it. Um, anyways, so there it is, doing its thing. Um, driving around, and oh yeah, the, uh, the keyboard on my netbook is mapped to send serial commands to the Bluetooth radio that is mounted on the uh, robot. So I'll put I'll put yeah I'll put links in the description for the uh, source code of the code on the Arduino side and I'll link to a how about I'll, I'll just link to the uh, exe file of the program I'm using to send serial codes to the um, Arduino. Uh, I yeah like I. I, I try to put it on the ground, you can't really see it at all, but it does drive really well, it, um, surprisingly, I didn't, at first on the uh, Uno one, I did a one with an Uno earlier this year, and it was terrible, like, it was running off a of one nine volt, and it went through them so quickly, because of the, um, Bluetooth thing, I didn't have it, I had it at five, not 3.3 .3 volts, and it was just a lot of voltage for it to handle at once, so, uh, yeah. Um, again, end screen time with no end screen. <laughs> so, uh, next project I'm probably going to undertake, uh, I've been looking at a lot of stuff about Quadrotor. Um, I think that would be a really fun thing to do, and, uh, I've got the, I probably have the skill level for it, I'd probably just need parts and stuff in the body. So if you've got any information about like quadrotor stuff, uh, leave it in the description. I mean, uh, or leave the description. Leave it in the comments. I'd be, I'd love to read about any links you interesting you guys have, or if you've made one, or if you've made something like this. Leave it all in the uh, comments, and I'll catch you guys next video. Which I don't know, I don't know what's gonna be. What's my next video about? Anything you guys want to see in my next video? Um, specifically, leave a comment. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching.